this is Vanessa Joy of the Shutter Mag, and I hope you had a chance to read my article all about different posing ideas for a bride and groom or a couple. What I wanted to address, which is a little bit hard to do in an article when there's no visuals, is that ultimately you are posing a man in a masculine form and keeping him in a masculine pose and a woman in a feminine pose and keeping her in a feminine pose, but then meshing them together. Again, assuming you're photographing a man and a woman or somebody that you want to be more masculine and feminine and someone else that you want to be more feminine. So here's something that, that will help you with all of this. There are a couple of rules that you want to follow and I'm going to demonstrate them for you here. So number one, make sure that your woman's body is turned away from the light but her face is turned towards the light. So if you're photographing a woman, especially in a white dress, if you're a wedding photographer, this will help bring out all the detail in the dress, which you really wanna do because that bride spent so much time and probably a ton of money on that dress. So you wanna show off all the details. So put myself in a lighting position so I can show you this. <laughs> so you want her body turned away from the light, but her head turned towards the light. Now what this is gonna do is accentuate not only the detail on her dress, but it will also slim her out because you're putting her stomach in shadow and that kind of helps us, helps us ladies out. <laughs> All right. So then you're going to turn her head towards the light. Now doing this, hopefully and you can actually see it right here on my face is it's going to create a nice shadow pattern, pattern, <laughs> a nice shadow pattern, a little bit of Rembrandt lighting, still getting light in both of the eyes. Now, so this, tends to be more of a head position for a woman. So remember this, this is turning your head towards the high shoulder. For a man, you're doing pretty much the opposite. You're gonna put their chest towards the light. This is gonna help make them look more open, more powerful, more masculine, and that's what you're going for. But you don't want to turn their face completely away from the light, because then you've got a broad light situation here, not as flattering. You want to have them, and even if you have them a little bit towards the light, that's fine, but you can have them more of like a split lighting this way. Now here's the difference. While the woman, we were saying you pose towards the high shoulder, the man you wanna to pose towards the low shoulder when it comes to their head tilt. Now, the way that you can think about this, because you're looking at me and you're like, oh yeah, Vanessa, I get it, high shoulder, low shoulder, but then when you go to pose a, a guy in this scenario or a woman, and you're trying to think, wait, which one's the high shoulder? Which one's the low shoulder? Because I'm showing you kind of easy right here, but there are a bazillion different ways that we can position a person. And then when you go to pose their head, you're like, wait, high, low, what? <laughs> so here's what you want to think about. You're turning their head towards the low shoulder. If, if when they tilt, you can imagine their hair going down like this. You're posing towards the high shoulder. If you can imagine them flipping their hair to get into that position. <laughs> All right, so that's how you figure it out. Low shoulder is if when they're tilted, you can imagine their hair just coming straight down even if they don't have hair. And it's a high shoulder if you can imagine them flipping their hair to get to it. All right, so the key to bride and groom posing is to combine both of these things, masculine, feminine, and then put them together so they both retain the masculinity or the femininity in a pose where they are together. I hope that was helpful. <laughs> I'm actually coming to you from France uh, and I will see you guys next time in the US most likely uh, here in Shutter Mag. I'm Vanessa Joy, see you then.